Whether it's running over defenders or running his mouth, Jeremy Shockey made his mark as an NFL rookie. And Shockey showing some great moves, staying inbound. <laughs> and how about that? His antics and his play have built the Shockey mystique. He called the Eagles secondary overrated, then backed it up with an in-your-face touchdown over Brian Dawkins. Looking for Shockey. He's got, he's got it. He's got it for a touchdown. He took it right away from Dawkins. Shockey was devastating in the wild card game at San Francisco with seven catches and a touchdown. But he also used an obscene gesture toward a 49er and then threw a cup of ice, which unintentionally hit some kids in the stands. Now he's taking on an NFL institution and a local legend in Bill Parcells. But it's his description of Parcells as a, quote, homo, end quote, that's creating a firestorm. Shockey's been down this road before, telling shock jock Howard Stern last year that he hoped there were no gay players in the NFL and that he probably wouldn't have tolerated a gay teammate in college. Shockey later would apologize for those remarks. New York likes its heroes loud and brash. Sack dances and curtain calls are embraced. And if you make a guarantee, you better back it up. Shockey's exuberance on the field has been welcomed by his teammates, and fans eat it up. Rumored to party with the likes of Tara Reid, Kid Rock, and Pamela Anderson, Shockey has quickly made the transition from Oklahoma country boy to a latter-day Broadway Joe. Parcells endeared himself to Giant fans not just because he won two Super Bowls, but because he was one of them. But their love affair with the tuna has turned bittersweet over the years with his departure and then his return in jet green. How Parcells would be received in Cowboy Silver and Blue made the September 15th Monday night matchup already one to savor. This latest flap is now guaranteed to have everyone pointing to that showdown.